Hi, I'm Marina Jones from Jones Crafts, and today we are going to be learning how to paint a Bible cover from start to finish. I'm going to go over all of the tips and tricks I have, the products I use, and if that sounds like too much work for you, I will link my Etsy shop down below. You can just have me do all of the hard work. This video is really just a step-by-step -step, um, inspiration for us to paint together, and so I hope you'll join me. So you want to start with two pieces of paper under each side of the Bible to protect it from any splatter. I start with a base coat of black that just kind of helps drown out any of the design that is on the Bible to begin with. Choosing the right Bible to paint is also very important. I go with a hard cover with cloth over it, fabric material, and that way the paint soaks into it. It really mimics a canvas that you would paint on and I've had the best experience with these. So we've got this lovely baby blue acrylic paint as the background color. I'm going just spreading that around until the design is kind of muted out. You don't want to see anything bleeding through. And then I will start with the florals. I typically come up with a color palette before painting the Bible. That way I'm not just sprinkling in random colors here and there and hoping that it looks good together. Searching wedding bouquets on Pinterest, super helpful. This customer chose sunflowers and wildflowers and lots of greenery, so I'll usually start with one flower, kind of spread it out throughout the Bible, and then go in with all of the other flowers and layer them all on top. Mix in the colors, actually, and blend while they're still wet. That's how I do it. Not everybody does it that way. And then I go back in, lastly, with the greenery. I actually got into Bible making from my best friend. She asked me to paint hers one day, and so that was the first Bible I did, and it was definitely not the last. I have been doing it for several years and really enjoy making custom Bibles. I work with the customers to come up with what design they want, what words they want, and really what they're looking for. I think it ends up being something that you will have forever. So it does take quite a bit of time to get all the florals on there, but once they're on there, you got just the foliage left, and it's one of my favorite parts because you get to blend it all in, under and over and all around, and it really just ties the whole picture together. So the processing time, if you do purchase a Bible from my shop, is typically one to two weeks. Um, if I'm not super busy, I love to get my orders out as quick as possible, so for the most part, it ends up that you get your Bible much quicker than you expect, but it's typically one to two weeks and then three to five days of shipping. I totally forgot to film the lettering on the front side, so I have my apologies, but this is the back. They wanted Proverbs 31, 25 lettered, and I'm just painting that with a black paint pen. So really any paint pen will work. Just make sure that whatever you seal your Bible with, it doesn't smear the ink. Here I am sealing the Bible with a matte Mod Podge. And here's the final look. I'm so excited to send this one off to its new home. I want to thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial. I really hope you got a lot out of it. Any questions, concerns, drop them below. And as always, follow me on Instagram at Jones Crafts.